Hello, hello, hello guys, it's Brickmoto and today we have some exciting new photos, 4K photos with the UCS Venator set and let's get into the video. So this is what we know so far about the set, it's an 18 plus, it has 5,374 pieces, it is set number 75367 and it has two minifigures. So the two figures include Clone Wars leader Captain Rex and Admiral Ulleran. Uh, and uh, yeah, loads of people are going to be after that Captain Rex, and it is a really, really sick looking Captain Rex. Um, so yeah, really good minifigures with this set. So looking at the modeling shots for the Venator, my god, it is a beefy set. You can see all the layers, you can see all the accents of the red. It looks beautiful. You can see the blue accents too, uh, which represent the lights. And uh, my god, this set is beefy. Um, you can see the crates of it there holding it. And a uh, really cool fact is that little, um, the little build uh, where one of the... Uh, Shutters is, is actually the UCS gunship. It's a little Easter egg, um, but yeah, you know, th thank God, uh, thank God it got it right this time because the same creator thought that the Re Republic gunship came from the original trilogy. So um, yeah, that's uh, thank God we got it right this time. <laughs> so when are we expecting this um, set to? be released on the website and in stores. October the 4th is when you could get it, but I'm pretty sure you get October the 1st if you're part of the LEGO VIP club. Um, but yeah, if you really want this early, that's what you're going to have to do. I imagine that it's going to be sold out in quite a lot of places because not only is it an amazing set, it also has an exclusive uh, Captain Rex figure as well, so loads of people are going to be wanting that. I've never owned a UCS set before, and hopefully soon as time goes on, uh, I'll be able to get myself one through doing videos, but we shall see. Um, but yeah, because they're quite expensive. £650 is quite a lot to throw at a UCS if you can't really afford it. Um, but yeah, the set looks amazing. It's a shame that a lot of the pieces um, are stickers, like shown here from this bird's eye view. Um, you can see that all those pieces there are stickers, so obviously over time, if it's not looked after properly, those things are going to peel and they're going to look really bad. They, they all decolor as well, so it's a shame that we can't get printed pieces anymore, especially with it being a £650 set, they couldn't really go for pr you know printed pieces, which blows my mind. But yeah, the set, um, the intricacy that you could see underneath it and everything like that, because obviously uh, they're trying to make the stand of the ship um, very sturdy because it is quite a big ship um, and you can see the thrusters on the back as well I love the detail that they've gone into it. It just looks amazing It's very just intricate and just very detailed and everything is just oh It's just like, like I'm very impressed This is probably one of the best like rears of a ships that we've seen from a UCS ship um, That we've seen in the past just because of the amount of like details that they've put into it how much time how much thought process as we can see on the back as well there's another sticker piece this, there's a lot of sticker uh, stickers which you're gonna have to use and be very precise with which you know if you have shaky hands or if you're just not really good at placing stickers yeah you're not gonna have the greatest time with this and on the topic of the display piece we have the minifigures as well we have the uh, little plaque that sh says Venator class start destroyer and on the right also has a little block with a printed uh, Clone Wars 20 year anniversary um, so yeah, it's really good. Um, it's very simple. It comes with every single UCS type of stand, but yeah, the minifigures that it comes with, it's really good. Um, and also, there's a little dent that you can see in the middle of the plaque as well, which LEGO tried to hide before with, I think it was the gunship, um, or it could have been the X-Wing, but yeah, they tried to hide it, but it looks like on this one you can actually see the uh, dent in it. So they're not completely lying to your face, but uh, guys, let me know what you think of the minifigures because I'm really interested uh, to think if you guys hopefully you know wanted more with the set if you wanted um, a certain character instead of someone else let me know what character you think would have been better suited uh, if not if you're not happy with this and if we were to look at the box art itself it's actually really good the way that the black kind of just lets the Venator shine right in the center of it it doesn't distract it away I'm really glad that because like with UCS it's really hard to make the box kind of like you know, not stand out, but the fact that it's just very subtle and it just lets the Venator speak for itself, let it have that moment to shine. Um, it just makes the colours pop and it looks very beautiful. I love the uh, blue glow in the background. Um, it really basically sells the ship and makes it just... It makes it to the star of the show and, uh, yeah, it's very appealing. And the fact that they have the Venator-like ship every angle um, on each side of the box, I'm really glad that they did that too because it actually shows that they're taking the effort and putting in the extra effort with the box art. But yeah guys, please let me know, are you going to be buying the set upon its release on October the 4th and October 1st if you are a LEGO VIP member? Um, obviously I can't get this because it's £650 and unfortunately I'm not making 
amazing YouTube money just yet, but uh, once I do, I'll be getting a bunch of UCS sets, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a very fun future. So, uh, guys, let me know in the comments down below. Will you be getting this set, and what you think about it in the comments down below? Um, are you a fan of this? And uh, yeah, make sure to smash the like button, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.